Short or full? What are we doing? Well, we started at nine exactly, so I got an advertisement on my own channel. Oh. <laughs> what? That's always so sad. I own this channel. I shouldn't watch him. Do we have pre-roll? I shouldn't have to watch me. me. Well, we don't do mid-roll. Ads are so fucking stupid right now, honestly. Yeah. Um, we could do a full game. Alright, that's our yeah. vote. How are you feeling, babe? Are you able to concentrate on a full game? Oh, uh, I'll try. It's fine. Alright. We'll try a full game, then. Nick won uh, the narrator. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I just wanted to say uh, that because cool. Spooky. The stage of some of our dearest summers. Back when we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraces us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while nights inebriate. inebriate. Oh, you, sorry. Like life could take every life place. could take a turn at every corner. Wow, English. Let's go. And for us, it did. Lucky. I know, I know. Immediately. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll do captain. Oh, are we doing our? I guess, like, cause I never had one, cause I was Ann Peggy. Remember last time? <laughs> oh, that's right. So this time I don't. I'm going first, so I can't like do a fun meme afterwards. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god, it's a recorder with a recorder. Okay, what's that Mabel puppet looking thing up at the top? The big items in this is how you get your shit. Uh, what do I want? God. You get three. Okay. So everyone I know. Gonna... Uh, flashback. Except line. Bliss, because he hasn't All right. spoken. Golden creative. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's me. So wait, am I going with Asbury then? It, it's want. up to you. It's whatever you want to do. Or whatever your name was. I just went with Brain. You went with Disconnect last time. Oh, did I? Fuck. Uh, no, it's, it's, again, it's whatever you want, Brain. Yeah, Here's dude. the thing. Here's the thing. Last time I did Disconnect, right? And the game crashed, so yeah. I'm not going to That's fair. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not do that, so I'm going to go with Asbury. Okay. Oh, you have different ones. You have fucking Bill Saber right away. Damn, you got really good ones. God damn. He's fucking playing play. I can't. Ah, oh, jeez, look at your like fucking pocket knife has a cactus and a bee on it. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, but then there's also like tarot cards, and then there's right, also, like that... art stuff, and like it's so many good stuff. Is that a do your own Hawaiian shirt? Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I'm gonna go with the Beyblade, <laughs> the Blade Blade. All right, I think it's me. Yep. Oh my god, this is so good. Fucking rat man. Rat man! I just want to take a nap. Oh my god. Campfire songbook. Bootleg Juan. Aww. It's Juan the Magic Cat! <laughs> Sketchbook, history costume, a spork, swole floaties, griffin pasta, chest two. Well, I gotta go with the Hawaiian shirt. Let's not. That's not even a choice. 
This is Ratman. Because Ratman. I kind of want to go with the sketchbook. That just looks really interesting. Oh, Sorry, man. wait. <laughs> did, you, did you see the sex scene? I do you see it. I see it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go with Bootleg Juan, just because he looks too cute. Derpy. Fucking Rob. Fucking Rob 64. I hate you so much, babe. Goodbye, comfort zone. <laughs> oh my god, they oh have the freaking... There's the penguin mask! Yeah. <laughs> Lemonade body pillow. Oh, I love it. Delicate business. Oh my god. One might say that the monster prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of love. But no, in love, we're always absolute beginners. And summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of summer love loomed over our heads. Close to the last days of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just three weeks away. Everyone knew that if it, that if you were to, were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date was probably going to be one of these six cute, coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson. Jo Jemima? 23. Badass witch who wants to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. I love her. <laughs> it's Breen. It is me. Amara Misha, 22. Hothead adventurer, possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. I Mood. love them. Oh, there's Breen. My boy! Now, Howlett Packard. The... Look his face! 6.1. A library computer who had become sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. It's version 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, 1.1. 1. 1. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He's in beta beta mode. Delilah Aqu Aquino? 20. Buff blue Dahlia. demon and warmonger who has set her sights on conquering summer next. Oh my it's god. Dahlia. I love her. I love Dahlia. Is <laughs> hey, that fucking uh, Joy, but blue? I know! That's what I was just thinking! <laughs> Damien LeVay. Oh, he's 21. back. A fearless <laughs> demon who, with a taste for destruction and love of fire. Oh, I want and him. Milo Belladonna, M. 23. I want them. <laughs> a death I want them. doubling as an internet influencer and who is profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. I want them. <laughs> <laughs> the bus trip was long and all of summer could be shaped by the first steps well taken and so it was clear it all came down to breaking the ice and causing good impressions with the right person time to break the ice okay uh, uh, doing something unexpected on the bus I think selfies is gonna be probably. I'm gonna try it out. Your boy. Hmm. Gonna. Yeah. Um. I think this is. Uh, um. Fuck it. Let's go with that one. Who are you going for? Oh. Oh, you can date multiple people. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <Hello>. Oh. <laughs> Who's uh, uh voicing? Uh Bliss, do you want to voice this boy or do you want me to? Them. Them. Person. Them. Them. 
Oh, taking selfies, are we? I've already taken 186 before we left Metropolis. Check it out. I call this series when we're going through a tunnel and I couldn't connect to LTE briefly. <laughs> That's a <laughs> whole ass yeah. move, Perhaps my next series could be selfies of us together, since we seem so interested in the art form. I love this. Hell yeah. <laughs> You can title this one, Captain and Milo, shortly before begging at summer camp. Yep. <laughs> Who's doing Justin. You're the only other dude. Uh... Gotta go robot boy. Your name is Rob. I don't, I don't think I can do it. I'm be, being straight up with you right now. Oh. Are you updating, Asbury? Oh god, it's good no. to know you're so proactive. Oh god, no. <laughs> Let's not do that, please, please. But this robot. The robot no. must talk like a robot. What, what would robot? No. Oh, are you up? How, how do you even do that? What, what just try like, and talk like a robot? Well, no, like, no, like, what his voice should be. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I mean, we it, can try and just. Make him Irish because he's voiced by Jack. No, I must admit, I tend to procrastinate my updates. It is a bit frightening to undergo personal improvement. But if you are embracing your software's metamorphosis, son, so shall I. I always learn so much when I spend time with you, Asbury. I hope we see more of each other at camp. Whoa! Was that you, Ratman? Fucking A! What, did you even... Did you even eat to get that burp? I usually do a mixture of energy drinks and watered-down gasoline to really get the belches going. Scott and like I had a burp... Like, raised energy? Oh my god. Scott and I had a burp contest all the time. Usually during pop quizzes. Maybe you and I can continue the tradition at camp when shit gets lame. Uh, looks like you're gonna have to be eating a lot more beans while you're at camp. But you're okay with that as long as you get to spend more time with Damien. Ooh. I accept your challenge! Try me, punk! Oh, I've trained myself to go at least 23 minutes without blinking! Jesus. It... <laughs> My ear! <laughs> It takes a true master to stare so unflinchingly in the face of death. My face, that is. I commend you for even trying. We'll have to do this more often when we get to camp. We only had three weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But, as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Sorry, I accidentally pushed that too fast. Listen, I need, to, I need a favor. Mm hmm if the gas cloud starts speaking, Brain, I need you to so voice a gas stories. cloud. <laughs> Why? Yeah. What do I want to do? Manor. Camp Dome. No, Why? Woods. I want to go to Camp oh, they... Dome. <laughs> they took out one of them. <laughs> that day at the Camp Dome, you play Hacky Sack. It's all fun and games, literally, until the hacky sack falls, and against all your knowledge of hacky sacks, supposed composition, it breaks upon hitting the floor. What the fuck? Good news aside, that there's plus two charms, you call dibs. A wild Milo appears, your heart starts beating fast, as, as this another one of your dreams about Milo baking you a loaf of bread in the French countryside. Hell yeah. Captain, I've been around looking for you, and now here you are, in my clutches. And now I found you. Want to do me a favor? I've got the soul reaping gig today, and I could use a helper. Um, you're not 80% sure this isn't a dream. You agreed to help Milo. They lead you to a fresh corpse with a soul waiting right above it. The soul looks dope, like a dope blue orb. Hi, hi, I'm dead. Your friend called, but my friends call me Milo. Let me be the first to say congrats on shuffling off that pesky mortal coil. 
Ah, I've been expecting you. I assume you're here to lead me to the afterlife. I died for a few minutes when I was a child, and I am somewhat familiar with the intake process. Exactly. Oh, I love souls who died before. They're refreshingly chill. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions before we go. First, state your name, please. I am R Redimus Tartarek, commander of the Mur King Guard and king of the Mur Realm. Praise be the Mur King. Night, night of the Mur Realm. Oh, night of the Mur Realm. Uh huh. Just to confirm, you're actually dead. How were you killed? Prepare thyself. Tis a terrifying story. I served many years of the Mur King Council. But t'was Murking himself who killed me. One night the Murking was attacked in his sleep. He survived, but became paranoid of a small council, thinking the attack was a coup. His paranoia led him to beheading me, his most loyal knight. But the Murking was wrong. Just before my death, I discovered the attack was orchestrated by an ancient order who hath authored my terrible acts across history. His foul order was known as by the masters. As executed by the devious plans, they rented masters, 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 but they spelled it with a Z. It was horrifying beyond belief. And, and I happened to notice that the masters was quite admiral. Dizoris? Derriers? Derriers. Seriously, they were caked up in ridiculous. They got some up to ass. a ridiculous degree. Wow, that's a lot. So I'm gonna have to check the death by. Courier Intrigue High Fantasy Box on this form. Now that we've completed the Identity and Mortality checks, I see you qualify to choose your afterlife destination. Congrats! Which afterlife would you like to be taken to? Thank you for the butts and chat. Thank you for the butts and chat. There are an infinite afterlife you can choose from, so really the only limit here is your own imagination. Ugh, it's so poetic. I love my job. Oh, father, I, I'm rather unsure. I enjoy puddling, so pudding. perhaps some pudding. Perhaps some kind of dairy, or rather, maybe an orgy. Uh. But that's a cliche. Egad, let me think for a moment. I realize that you are literally contemplating infin infinity here, but please hurry this up. I have very strict posting schedule. I need to get back to my followers need consistency, babe. Posting schedule, what's that? Like Milo is getting impatient. You can tell because they just tweeted, I'm super impatient. <laughs> <laughs> is this me? Or a K-pop star. Jesus. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My lovely captain is right. If we count your karma points, then you've got two reincarnation options. Sentient burrito or K-pop star. Reincarnated re reincarnation sounds amazing. I feel like I could get really good at life if I gave it just one more try. Can you tell me more? Of course. K-pop star reincarnation package is one of our popular covenant second lives. You'll travel around the world, you'll hit the highest high notes. And despite everything, you'll give up for the stage. I can guarantee your mass of devoted fans will make it all worth it. Dreamy, right? That sounds like a great idea. Reincarnation. I can basically guarantee that I'm going to pick that option. You'll have to be an idiot not to choose that. Burrito. But tell me more about this burrito thing. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna pick Good. the burrito. Nobody ever put the burrito package. If you become a sentient burrito, you can choose which protein filling you have. And you come with pico de gallo, no extra cost. No extra cost, but what about the guac? Oh, hell yeah. But what about the guac? I have <laughs> one very, very, very important question. Can I eat myself? Oh my god, he's so <laughs> his yell! Uh, yes, you can eat yourself, but you'll also feel real pain if anyone else eats you. God, that's awful. I assume you're going to make me a fucking chorizo burrito. Knew it. Yeah. What? I can't be serious. I think we're the nail is talking. I think you're talking. A burrito existence is full of pain and suffering. 
That's fair. I died. And I was really craving Taco Bell. Well, I'm all right. Mood. I get off. Get off my dick. Make me a burrito. It's not a fetish thing. It's a fetish thing. It's a fetish thing. Oh, fucking chase your bliss, babe. Milo snaps his fingers and Milo. the soul starts fading. Milo. <laughs> Fading into the halo of light. I'm so happy it sobs with joy. I'm finally going to be a burrito. I've never been so happy. Finally, God, that one took forever to deal with. But really, but you really helped move things along. Thank you for being my little helper, Captain. Milo pats you on the head. Mm-hmm. Head pats. Mm-hmm. Head pats. Later that night, he, they pull you aside. Hey, since you were so helpful today, I got you a little surprise. Milo reveals- No! <laughs> oh, she's just looking burrito. Yep, it's that burrito. I pulled a few strings uh, for a little dinner date, Captain. Oh my god. You are not looking at burrito. He screams the whole time, and it's, and it's still pretty romantic. So you learned that consuming merfolk souls are you plus two charm and one smart. Yes, head pets. <laughs> I got head pads, and I gotta have a chorizo burrito with him. Yeah, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm thinking this game. You actually. I'm thinking this game. Over. Your character actually talks, really? Yeah, because they had because they had uh, what's the name on the side as if your character was talking to him back. I think you actually talk in this game. Ooh. Yeah, they removed the money one. Mm. Maybe later on. Oh. That day, you explore the haunted oh, holy manor's shit. basement, only to find that it has a sub-basement. Hey! We hey. gotta pause for a moment. Sam is reading with a party yeah. of 12. Thank you so much, Thank Sam! You so much. Oh, Thank shit! You. Just really in time to watch you reading your romance. Yeah. No. Run. Uh, Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. We don't have a shout out command, do we? We need to make one. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, thank you so much, Sam. Hello, everybody. Hello, Raiders. <laughs> hey, Hello. we are Twisted Team. We are a group of people that do a variety of streams. Like today is Monster Prom 2. So Me. yeah, thanks Me. for joining in. Thank you so much for the raid, Sam. We really do appreciate it a lot. Hell yeah. Me. All uh, right. All right. Spooky times for Breen. Yay. Spooky time for Breen. The sub basement is full of haunted chairs and a staircase to a sub sub basement. The sub sub basement is haunted wine cellar. All right. So I know where Breen is. The group art was actually done by Breen, Jared. Yeah. The sub 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 basement is a haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine. What they the oh, is that me as a ghost? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do they serve, do they serve tequila? <laughs> also, no, hello. They serve tequila. Aerodyne and Azrad. I don't believe we've had you in our chat before. Yeah. So great. I just wanted to say yeah, hello. 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 The sub basement to the 10th power is a subway. You eat a foot-long Reuben and continue on your travels. Ooh, I could go for Subway. Wow, you got really traveling down the basement. <laughs> I'm living hell now. <laughs> you eventually check a walkthrough and find out the Haunted Manor is a spawn, can spawn infinite amounts of sub-basements. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which is a Dob Sub Leather Room, and you gain a plus two boldness from the horrors you witness there. I mean... Good. Green. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> He's got succulents! <laughs> Man after my own heart. Okay. Killers, the opportunity to show off his succulents. You, oh. you see, friend Asbury, I did not want my succulents to feel left out at, of Camp Spirit, so I've been making each of them tiny camp spooky appropriate outfits. <sighs> Each one will be receiving a tiny scout sash, eat with even tinier scout vouches, and individual bathing suits they can wear while I spray them with mist. <laughs> I appreciate this a lot. <laughs> Calcester is so adorable when he talks about his plants, you can't help but stare lovingly into his face as he speaks. 
Who the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> Where? What fucking <laughs> demon slayer ass is this? Well. I don't know what this is. Uh, actually, Brian, you haven't voiced one yet. You do it. Okay. Well, 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 why am I not surprised? <laughs> Mike Wazowski! <laughs> Get the voice back now! <laughs> you get another camper staring intently at a screen instead of enjoying the great outdoors. <laughs> Camp Spooky isn't about using electronics, it's about engaging in classical activities like scouting and swimming and doing manual labor to benefit the camp. <laughs> and yet, here you all are, on your phones. You explain that Calcaster is, Calculester is not, in fact, a phone, but rather a sentient being, and in fact, a fellow camper under her charge. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was trying to get a bite of something. <laughs> Friend Asbury is right. Friend Camp Director Miss Weaving, you and I have interacted multiple times. And their phones always say to try and justify their technology addiction and neglect their real world responsibility. You have left me with no choice. I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate all screens from you until you kick this nasty habit. But his face! <laughs> Quick flash, camp director Miss Weaving grabs Calculus Cal What? and starts trying to put him in her pocket. What? <laughs> Kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're being confiscated. <laughs> There's a huge difference. It has to do with whether I consider you a person or not. <laughs> oh my god. Capitalism. <laughs> oh. Rescue me, friend Asbury. Rescue me from friend camp director Miss Weaving, who is not being a good friend at all right now. You can't let Cal Calculester get kidnapped, Compu cu computer net, confiscated, whatever. He can't be taken away. You need to find a way to comp to convince camp director Miss Weaving that you are that your relationship with Calculester is far from an, an unhealthy addiction. Given your history of spending all your time and energy trying to impress one classmate with no regard for school or extra growth this, <laughs> this is true. You can call you me out. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate both of these. <laughs> oh, but Addicted to brain, you know, you know, you have your ten months ship. <laughs> like, God, I don't know what's going to be. <laughs> Thank you for the. <laughs> Thank you so much for the <laughs> Oh God, they're both really good options. Hey, chat, you want to help me out on this one? Because I can't brain, think of. Brain, what? you know what you have to pick. No, I don't, no. because the Garfield one's calling to me. <laughs> uh... But you need that 10 month computer chip, man. Has it been healthy for 10 months, over? though? What if it fucks him over? Oh my god. Chat, what should we do? <laughs> I'm leaning towards Garfield, but to appease Nick, I might do the addicted. No, because the first one says unhealthy. You're trying to prove that you have a healthy relationship with your phone. Uh, I think it also Computer. depends on, like, what is more in your wheeled house of things. Yeah, either boldness. Right, fuck it. <laughs> Why are you handing me a computer chip? More proof of your pathetic dependence to technology to... Oh, I see. 
This isn't a working computer part at all, but rather a symbol of your failure to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out. No, no, you explain it's not about a failure to bonk robots. It's about an amazing display of willpower and self control. <laughs> you know, I hate all of you. It's all about addicted to sex with mecha machines anonymous. To give her the informa informative panel that you keep on you at all times. A. ASMA? Go ahead. It appears this is the three law program founded on the principles of uh, Sir Isaac Asimov, reformed robot fucker. Law one, a monster may not bang a robot or through an action allow oneself to be banged by a robot for excess of 10 hours a day. 10 hours! Well, I mean, like, they can go all night, but- <laughs> I'm so sorry, I thought you were I'm gonna turn down my mic a little bit. <laughs> Just turn down my oh mic my a little God. bit. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be screaming a lot. For Brutus. <laughs> For everyone. Ah, uh, too, a monster must obey the orders given to it by robots, except if the robot says to bang them in excess of 10 hours a day. <laughs> Law three, a monster must protect its own existence by cultivating interests and hobbies outside of banging a robot. Sorry, Brutus. <laughs> hmm. Well, I must say that in excess of 10 hours a day, Seems like a low bar to achieve in terms of amount of monster robot sex to not be having. But you are clearly taking this very seriously <laughs> and moving in a good direction. <laughs> <coughs> Don't die. <laughs> Does this mean I can be unconfiscated and given back to friend Asbury? Friend camp director Miss Weaving? <laughs> or can all three of them. <laughs> You are unconfiscated, Mr. Hellet Packer. But I cannot stress <laughs> I cannot stress enough that I am not giving you to Camper Asbury, given her remarkable work with addicted to sex with machines anonymous. <laughs> Thank you very much for unconfiscating me. I will be certain not to bang friend Asbury for more than ten hours a day. Oh my god! Or by inaction, be banged by her wife. <laughs> oh, so it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but you can't help but notice that Calcaster promised not to bang you for more than 10 hours a day. He never said that he wouldn't bang you or go inaction be banged by you. He totally could have just said that would have never happened, but he didn't. By by reading way too much into this, you immediately gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. I did face until Brutus pointed it out. I noticed right away, because it yeah. changed as soon as he talked about banging. I was like, oh, oh. Is there a place where I can just do? God. Uh. I feel that, boy. All right, the lake or the woods? in the woods. Oh, look at all the squirrels! That day, you go into the woods and search for edible roots to make wi a wilderness tea. You find a lot of roots. Beet root, ginger root, the square root of pie, the root of all evil. You brew it all together, and it's the most delicious tea you've ever had. It's so rooted with knowledge that you gain plus two smarts. You spent the last five minutes following Damien around, hearing tales of his exciting exploits, but staring at his butt more than you've actually than you've actually listened. I mean, yeah, I mean. And that's why I, I can mean, never yeah. go back to Rome, and why I have beef with all of the village people except for the cop, which is weird because in real life I often punch cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should badge I 
he sent me after I sent him a video of me <laughs> singing YMCA while burning down the series of YMCA's. I can never find anything in my camp bag. My dad sent my dad sent me with so much extra stuff that I can't imagine I'd ever need while camping. I mean, a tent, a sleeping bag, a compass. When I would ever use any of that? Wait, what is this? It looks like a flashlight, but instead of a light <laughs> my dad must have put this in here for me. But why? Oh, oh no! Oh dear! I think. I I'm, I'm living for these reactions. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's squeaky right now. No, it's squeaky right now. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. This is not appropriate time for squeaky. Ma'am, you missed so much. She literally screamed so loud she had to turn her mic down earlier. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Is it? Would me a utensil? Have a mouth. Maybe I'm supposed to use it to eat my food before pouring it in my own mouth. Nope. You you can't traumatize Damien by telling him he found his dad's sex toy. But you need to think of a valid non-eating usage and fast. <coughs> um. Uh, so glad we're playing this. Oh no. By the way, T Sean, living for your reactions, and these are all going into the highlight reel. Jesus Christ. This is the highlight reel. It's just gonna be this game. Just oh, boy. Yeah, our oh, 2020 God. highlight reel is just gonna be a playthrough of this. Because are there his dad's Leftover is gonna hit his ear, or he's just gonna hold it out and hope that it lights up. Uh, it's like it. One is, uh, like I think that one's creativity. Like the top one's creativity, which is what you have more points in. But it's up to you. Oh, it's oh, okay. a charming thing. Oh, a pocket friend. Of all of the flashlight-shaped things a pocket can contain, a friend is one of the most badass. Friends are almost as metal as enemies. Damien presses some buttons on the flashlight, and the fountain begins to move in my room. <laughs> Speak up, friend. I can't hear you emotion emotionally validating me. <laughs> Damien presses more buttons, and you hear to your surprise, a friend does indeed begin to talk. His vocabulary seems to be limited to, oh yes, it's screeches. <laughs> oh, I mean, I know. Break. Are you okay? Your dad gave me to you. Give you to me. <laughs> and while I'm Take away. Take me to the clip. <laughs> spot. <sighs> yes, exactly. Camp Spooky is exactly the spot I'm meant to be in at this very moment. In time for some hardcore so adventure. <laughs> I hate harder, this. Harder! Harder! Master we broke right. and teach and up. And harder. And harder as we go along, doesn't it? Wow! It really... It's <laughs> a pretty metal wisdom. The sound of... RuPaul's hitting song, Cover Ghouls. Oh god, it's RuPaul. Oh god. Fills the air. <laughs> Fills the air. It's Damien's ringtone. He answers it on the speakphone since his hands are still busy with his new friend. Hello, sweet devil, says says the king of hell. No, we're here oh, no. wondering how <laughs> things are going at Camp Spook. Metal! Things are going great. Ratman and I just discovered this dope-ass friend you sent me to keep me company. In case I burned all my other friends to the ashes. Friend? Asked the other king of hell. Oh, we packed you some spike castanets in case you need to have some music duel, but I hardly call those suitable companions. No, no, the friend with the punch colored mouth who lives in the flesh. Oh, oh my, oh, oh dear, says the other king out. So that's where that went. I assume that one of the magma pterodactyls swallowed it whole, but this is so much worse. Why? Uh, well, your new friend gets homesick, so best thing to do is wrap him up at 
put that at the bottom of your suitcase and never touch him again. <laughs> okay, Dad. Whatever you say, I'm just glad I got to meet him at all. It's better to have loved and lost. I hate uh, Yes, love. Well, we have to go. A new wave of YouTube commenters has just arrived, and we have to make sure they're punished appropriately. We love you. <laughs> oh, no, but true. <laughs> uh, no. But true friendship sometimes means binding your friend and shoving him to the bottom of a suitcase. I guess we have to support each other now, right, man? <sighs> I wouldn't mind supporting him, but we'll continue that. Lucky you! Let's hope that you're a better friend than a fuckable silicone too. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I hope I choose correctly. Am I the only one that game? caught that? Why Damien is has three points? <laughs> yeah, he has a he does a gruffness. But what are you gonna do, babe? You can't go to the bathroom. You know, you go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. That day in Monster Scouts, you learn to make your very own clothes in the wild. Someone suggests a fashion show, so afterwards, you all put on your outfits and show them off. If you'd known that you that, that that would have been the result, you probably would have made something other than leaf and stick thong and vine woven ta nipple tassels. I'm afraid I have to go stay safe and have a great night. Thank you for dropping by, Az. Have a good night thank and you so thank much. you so we much. Really yeah. yeah. And you say, no one will be forgetting your performance anytime soon. You gain plus two creativity. After surviving that, you meet up with Aravi to check out new dungeons she's been telling you about. She is DM. A three hour hike she's and adventure. several side quests. Finally there, but something seems a little off. Unbelievable. What the hell? All the loot's hung on clothes hangers and arranged in shops? Where's my hype battle music? This is just bloodless covers of 90s soft rock hits! A leaps out from behind the large fake fern. Prepare for a random encounter, he cries. Mm, now that's more like it. Let's go! With flavor, he continues, displaying a tray of piping hop cinnamon and pretzel bites. Try Pretzel Prison! Located on floor 2B! Level up, loser! Come on! This is dumber than specking into defense for solo DPS build! <laughs> oh I, my- I think you should use your chook voice. <laughs> my what? Your chook voice. No, your oh, sausage. Have... Your sausage, sausage voice. Yeah. I haven't done the sausage voice in forever. Hold on, let me see if I can- I don't know, Ravi. These pretzel bites are pretty dope. I say we hear them out. <laughs> the pretzel bites aren't saying anything! If they were, at least that would be interesting. Ugh, who ruined this dungeon? <laughs> the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you have to voice this one. <coughs> Let's see. Um. I might have to turn Justin down a little bit. Hold on. I can't really think of a voice for this guy. Um... Bliss, let me do, let me put you, let me, let me give you an idea. Alright. When you originally heard that I was making a rat man. Yeah. Think of that voice. Think of who you thought rat man would have eventually become. Or you could do like your old man voice that you do. Yeah, yeah, that's this a good snooty old man. Uh, see the old man. I'll never see the old man. Um, uh, I, I think you mean who significantly increased the property value of this dungeon, my little money bundle. Mr. Poppins. Oh, that's his word. CEO, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes! <laughs> I'm responsible for turning this literal hole into the ground. In the ground into a prime investment opportunity. <laughs> Dungeons are terrible business. They don't charge admission. They carry enormous legal liability. And adventurers are always carting off the merchandise for free. Next time, I won't have any mercy. Ugh, whatever. You for this. The only business that belongs in the dungeon is none of yours kind. Come on, Hex. 
let's get back to camp. All this will be a shopping mall. Do you mean let's go back to go back to mall? That's right. I purchased Camp Spooky and turning it into another shopping mall. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> After all, the employees at the shopping mall need somewhere to shop. Don't you agree? <laughs> You villain! I'll show you how a real adventurer shops by stabbing you and then taking your organs because that's how I get most of my loot. I mean, that's fair. You fool. You you think mortal weapons can harm me? I have six guys on retainer whose job is to get stabbed on my behalf. You'll have to do better than that. Oh. Damn, he's right. I can't beat him alone. I need to form some kind of anti-capitalist adventure. <laughs> <laughs> But Ravi's got no idea where to start, and Hex is too busy watching reruns of Wife Swap to contribute. It's up to you Amazing. to suggest the perfect team up. Yes, Conrad! Yes! Yeah, fucking yeah. move. <laughs> Anything can. Mecca! <laughs> Hell yeah! That's brilliant! The area around Camp Spooky is indeed home to many vibrant small businesses! Yeah. Most of which cater to the camp's constant need for replacement buildings and medical supplies. Come on, let's form a Mecca! <laughs> Alright, children, you have fun. I'll just be over here growing steadily wealthier. God, I wish. Several <laughs> community organizing later. Thank you all for gathering here today. We're facing a great evil today. A dumb, stupid jerk who did a thing I don't like. And to stop him, we need to form a mecha. <laughs> Benny from Bait Shop, will you use your fish hooks to form the mecha's grappling apparatus? Marta from Marta's bulk replacement windows, your temper glass will form the mecha's visor. Uh -huh. The rest of the parts will come from Javier, who has a shop that sells mechas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for including me in this, says Javier. I only hope that my tiny contribution can help us success in some small way. <laughs> you, Robbie, Javier, Marta, and Benny climb into the Mecha's control chamber. And after briefly practicing some perfect synchronized battle moves, you take off to fight Papas and his goons. Damn rascals! What's this? We're under attack? Curse us! I don't have Mecha insurance. The battle is an absolute route. Benny hook, Benny's hooks make short work of Papa's bodyguards. Marta's visor provides excellent visibility, and Javier's electromagnetic gauss, ri gauss rifle is also kind of useful. I like how they're undermining Javier. Big <laughs> company say they're able to provide lower prices, but nothing will ever beat the charm of small businesses or their ability to form a huge mech. Oh, this okay. isn't the last of me. Yeah, rule see. the day you try out, you trifled. With Mr. Papa's youth socialist, I'll be back, and you'll be sorry. He probably says some other stuff too, but the mech of the mech punts him into the sky, so he turns into a little star and then vanishes. Do you want to be my support? <laughs> Get my support? Wow, you're a hell of a commander, Rob64. You've earned my respect, and this helm of two plus two boldness and plus one charm. Yay! What? Oh, I want to do random. Nope. Wait. Oh, random at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna do random. Aww. Aww. I hope I choose correctly. I'm gonna go be a scout. Is that gonna be your new bathroom? Like, is that the new bathroom for you? It's a new bathroom! That day, all the scouts make a braid chain as a team building exercise. You learn all sorts of new ways to braid hair. But the person braiding your hair accidentally ties an infinity knot into your head, so there's no way to untie it. You can see into infinity. Amazing. But right before Coach gives you the worst haircut of your life, you see all of your friends, how all of your friends will die. It's useful to help you eliminate, helping you eliminate David Davidson, the doomer deer person from your romantic what? perspective. Oh, yeah. 
You also watch as every Marvel movie that will ever be released. You gain plus two creativity from witnessing so many plot twists. Oh my god. I don't know if that's creativity. <gasps> yes. You're then challenged to an arm wrestling contest with the Tisha, do you want to watch D Delilah? <laughs> Dahlia, Dahlia. Dahlia. <laughs> when you regain consciousness, you're in the middle of one of Coach's workshop on how to catch rare forest animals alongside her, Aravi, and Hex. They're not cutie mortals. Dahlia's here. Oh god. Good, sleepyhead's awake, and just in time. We're on the eve of battle, the battle of catching a feral, ferocious foe with nothing but our bare hands. Oh, a critical hit. And so, and my swords, and daggers, and crossbows, and my enchanted mace, and also my enchanted pepper spray. I need some of that enchanted pepper spray. Bliss, do you want to voice the coach, or should I? Good. You, you can, you got it. Don't worry, kids. All of your unique and occasional comedic clashing strengths will be necessary in bringing down this hideous beast. <laughs> Today we'll be hunting a cryptid so rare that he only has been captured a few dozen photographs on Google Images. Take a look. Here for it. Or decide here, can I voice him? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this isn't a cryptid. It's Billy Weidler. I left his work in the apartment and some, some like it high. <laughs> Yes, Hex, but not quite. You see, this creature was framed Golden Age Hollywood director Billy Wilder. But over time, he grew disenchanted with Hollywood life. Aww. Now he lives in these very woods, transformed into the feral and terrifying Billy Wildest. The Fiend? Does he still direct critically acclaimed comedies? Hmm. Not really. Mostly he just eats people and occasionally ghostwrites. Perhaps you've heard of oh. the film called no! Transformers: The Last <laughs> No! <laughs> Fucking kill him! <laughs> oh my God! Yes, I have. He must be stopped. All monsters must die. Don't worry, Coach. We'll behead the beast. What's the plan to capture him? <sighs> yes, the plan. The plan for Billy Wildest. The plan <laughs> devised specifically to capture the Billy Wildest. The Billy Wildest. The Billy <laughs> Wildest plan. You've got nothing! Always believe in yourself! I really think I should just change it to raw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was so wrapped up in giving you kids this information, I forgot to plot anything. But hey, the four of you coming up with a plan should be the greatest team building exercise. Just like gym teacher to make the students run mental laps while sitting back to watch. Well, somebody needs to hatch a plan to catch Billy Wildest. What you got? Best director currently living as a wild man in the woods. Or to stay over the movie contract. Can we just fucking watch TV? <laughs> Are you sure? That sounds like a lot of work. No, that's Polly, sorry. Like, I've forgotten all the voices it's I've okay, ever done okay, simultaneously okay, okay, and just okay. blacked out. <laughs> Like, we'll have to make a whole fake award ceremony and get people to attend, and... Yeah! That sounds perfect! Lately, all my campaigns have been way too battle-heavy. It'll be nice to roleplay for a while. Oh, let's get some badges! Man. Yeah! And I'll finally earn my present an award to deceased director badge! Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone said it was impossible, but I'll show them! Get to work transforming camp into its prestigious award venue. Ravi and Dahlia really get into picking out the decorations, finding fancy outfits, etc. On the night of the event, you invite all the notable feral Hollywood directors to the ceremony. Ravi and Hex. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to the first feral Hollywood director awards. I am your host, Hex, with my assistant, Avari, here. <laughs> I am such a huge fan of all of you, so my first event will be having... Oh, the darkest side of my face! <laughs> Shut up, Hex! Ugh, I knew I should have never invited you to this. Can we just skip to the nominees? First, we have the Skippy the Squirrel, best known for his endearly homoerotic rom com, Nuts for Your Nuts! <laughs> the Alfred Peacock, for his terrifying work in the forest horror film of the year, The Humans! Uh... We also have Billy Wildest, his latest claim to fame is eating your children in their beds at night. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And last but not least, Michael Bay. 
You hit a single move from the crowd, followed by a small explosion. <laughs> and the winner is Billy Wildest! <laughs> Billy, please come to the stage and accept your award. Billy Wildest mounts the stage amidst the uproarious applause. The award is a golden net Dal Dahlia throws over him. Oh! He cries poorly. I have been trapped, as I have trapped in the net of Hollywood's superficial commercial desires, and also most by Nazi Germany. Oh, God. You carry Billy away as he starts getting too real. There's no place for true emotional depth at an award ceremony. <laughs> the whole thing ends with a bitchin' after party, where you all watch Steven Spielberg and Alfred Peacock uh, do a keg stand. You get plus two fun and plus one boldness. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, hey. buddy. It's good. That day, that day, you bring a magazine to read by the lake. The cover story is how to gain fun while camping with your six hottest, most charismatic friends. Step one, go to lake. Step two, wait. What? That's it? Why hasn't it worked for you yet? Oh, wait, you're, you just gained plus two fun. Thanks, Cosmopolitan. Oh, you link up with Damien afterwards. He told you Coach wanted him Losing to diggle a tree, and he could use a hand. Hey, hey you there, right, man? Thanks for showing up. I, I think I figured it out. <laughs> I didn't know what a latrine was, but it sounded French, so I made an educated guess and buried landmines everywhere. Jesus. You look at him perplexed. The French didn't invent landmines, you tell him. What? They didn't? What the fuck is the point of the French, then? Get off. My property! Bliss. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> hey, stop burying those landmines on my property. You're dangerously close to exceeding the state of California's recommended landmine maximum, and I don't need that paperwork. <laughs> Fight me, dude! Our land? What the fuck are you talking about? I carved my name into every building here, and most of the campers. Oh, God. Sorry, kid, not actually sorry, I'm evil, it's just an expression. But Camp Spooky is mine now, here's the deed. Oh, you can't buy Camp Spooky. This is the home of most of my treasured memories, also my landmines. Well, this will be a Your memories mall. and explosives will have to find another home, Sonny. This is shopping mall country now. Oh, shopping malls are useless, why build one here? On the contrary, shopping malls still have one very important use, making summer campers like you absolutely miserable. Let's go, intern. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to spill some oil in the Pacific Ocean and blame it on sea otters. I'll be what? back with the rule of this oh afternoon. God. <laughs> oh. Fuck this. We can't let that colossal wiener bulldoze our beloved camp. I was planning to below bulldoze our beloved camp. <sighs> There's only one way to fix this that I will accept. Crimes! Come on, Redman, right, help me think of an act that vandaliz vandalism so heinous it'll scare that dweeb away for good. Bring, Crime time. Bring the one thing guaranteed to destroy the value of any property. Shitty neighbors. Ooh. So Crime. salt in the soil so no shopping malls ever grow here again. Shitty neighbors. You're damn right, shitty neighbors can turn the best property into a carnival of shit. <sighs> like my fucking neighbor Randall. He smells like burning hair and is a fish hat that I covet. God, makes me fucking sick. <laughs> but where will we find an appropriate shitty neighbor? It's not like Randall's moving anytime soon. Damn him. What we need are some skilled, bad neighbor impersonators. Caper experts, you know? Or what? Another way to say that? Oh yeah, we need some. Hell yeah! Master. <laughs> They're back. Huzzy. Well, you just said it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was gonna say escapade specialist, but that's even better. We're here to be a fake bad neighbor, bro. Polly already made a list of everything we need: one white picket fence, one row of garden hose, and one bucket of fake mustaches. <laughs> Mustaches, there are only two of you, and you don't really need a disguise. Uh, did my research, Damien. If you took all the shitty neighbors in the world and put them in a pile, do you know how many mustaches you'd have in a pile? 1.6 billion! Alright, you're the professional. 
I'll get I'll get you some mustaches. And I have a bunch of separate heads I've been meaning to shave anyway. One gruesome disguise montage later. Alright, I'm back. Hope hope you all you're getting evicted, pants, because I who are you guys? Hey bro. Give <laughs> me your new neighbors, bro. A polymorphous troop. Polyamorous of horny, polyamorous. polyamorous <laughs> couple of horny mustachy old men. My booty is filled with skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have we ha love having threesomes, grown body hair, and vandalizing shopping malls in bizarre and disturbing ways. <laughs> Girl, say. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a prank, and I'm normal. What? They said nobody lived near this camp because of too much collateral damage. You're telling me I have to find a way to evict you guys too? That'll take weeks! Now be back. You went near time horny mustache yo thruple. <laughs> but you haven't heard the last of Mr. Papa's evil CEO. I will return. <laughs> We're like masters of survival! Oh yeah, we did it, especially me. I think I'm really getting the hang of this prank thing, don't you? <laughs> Most definitely, bro. Like when you said this is not a prank. Even though it was totally was a prank? Where did you even come up with this stuff? I guess I was just inspired by the mischief in Ratman's heart. Thanks for backing me up, hot stuff. Oh, hell yeah. Steamy. Thank, Thank you for putting anything you'd like to back up. The other thing is his ass. You gain <laughs> plus two fun and plus one creativity. Damn. Look at those scores. Not you. Gonna crush this. Alright. Uh... I think I want to get a little smarter. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's such a mood. Incidentally, step in a pile of leaves covered by a massive hole. It was a trap! An evil goblin hunter... Uh, is it goblins who hunts or someone who hunts goblins? You'll never know. Appears! They're the ones who put the trap David in there. David Bowie? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, basically. <laughs> this is it. You're done. You get ready to embrace death. But the Goblin Hunter only sets a trap to get someone to help them to do their math homework. They'll only let you leave if you help them. You don't have any other option here. It's a bit boring, but you actually learn some useful calculus. You gain plus two smarts. Hell yeah, real rounded! <laughs> Huge news! Milo has agreed to let you and Cal Kester follow them for the, around for the afternoon. Cal wants Milo to teach him how to truly enjoy life. You're just really into Milo and or Cal. I, uh, you, I adore the woods. Don't you, don't they make you want to meander a little? Here, Captain, take my picture while I pretend to be lost amongst the trees. Engaging camp module.exe. <laughs> Milo, it has been so helpful to observe your behavior. Based off of my observations, in order to better enjoy life, I need to meander spontaneously roughly 833% more often. Suddenly, a terrifying old lady jumps out from behind a tree. Shit, it's the Baba Yaga, the witch who lives in the woods and complains a lot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, I have caught you naughty children. Look at you, you little rats. I was just wandering left and right like you own the place. Are these woods your house or something? Oh, question. I, I suppose, in a way, all beautiful places feel like home to me. Oh yes, this forest is our house, metaphorically. Wait, so you naughty children actually do live in these woods? Since I also live in these woods, that technically makes us neighbors! And since we're neighbors, it's your duty to cat sit for me while I'm on vacation. I'm going to a convention for child-eating enthusiasts, and someone must take care of Mr. Beanzo! The Baba Yaga pulls a big fluffy <laughs> cat out of her sleeve and hands it to Calcaster. Please, please, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> What I needed in my life. Thank you for the serotonin. I am getting delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fucking cat. <laughs> well, I am programmed to be a friendly neighbor. Just to confirm that this task is within my capabilities, how long will you be gone? <laughs> Who knows? It could be two hours or two years. Goodbye, naughty children. The Baba Yaga throws smoke bomb on the ground, and when it clears, she's gone, and Cal Kessler is still holding Mr. Beans up. You're a cat sitting now, baby. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> I find this series oh. of events very stressful. Cats are such enigmatic life forms. Enigmic. Enigmic. Life. Enigmatic. 
life forms. I barely have any knowledge on how to care for them. Am I... Am I holding Mr. Beanso correctly? Oh, don't worry, your little metalhead. Cats are very easy to take care of. We just need to, uh, respect the cat's emotions, be good listeners, and never go to bed angry, obviously. <laughs> I love them so much! <laughs> Milo, I just ran that statement through my meaning detection algorithm, and it's returning numerous errors. Can you clarify how to properly take care of Mr. Beanzo? Ugh, fine, you caught me. I don't know anything about cats. Besides the fact that they drive huge views of video content. But I have no idea how to keep them alive or whatever. Milo and Calca Calcu Lester, don't turn both turn to you, hoping that you have some knowledge that will help here. But they, but hey, you don't even know what a cat looks like until very recently. Oh shit! Oh, no. Suddenly, Mr. Beanzo starts meowing over and over again. What the hell? Oh, poor little Mr. Beanzo. He must be hungry or angry or maybe he's depressed. Is it in you? In what? In what? In we? What do we do? Oh, Mr. Binzo. I don't. I think it's on what? On we? On we? On we? On we? Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! We're out of, we're out of time. Make up your mind quick. What the fuck does this cat want? Drive that bitch in Ferrari. We no, we have to we have to bow to Mr. Beanzo. Look at that face. We have to bow to him. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beanzo is demanding that we make him our god. We must supplicate ourselves to him immediately. Oh, okay. In order to show Mr. Beanzo his obvious supremacy over me, I will um continue to hold him in a more in a comfortable position. And I shall write a poem for this cat. It will be a spoken poem, and it will be so beautiful that Mr. Beanzo will name for be will be forever painted across the pages of history. On the spot, Milo improvises a poem about how cute Mr. Beanzo paws are. It's the most emotional, moving poem of all time, but Mr. Beanzo still won't stop me out of like, Shit! Ugh. Well, this this high-maintenance cat is clearly dominant over the three of us. Maybe he just needs a larger pack of worshippers to ran over. Yes, that must be correct. But where can we find a large group of people who are willing to follow the pink sticking daily minu minute of a cat? Instagram. Duh. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Milo asks for Mr. Beanzo. Makes Mr. Beanzo on Instagram. He gets super popular immediately, almost because he's a big fluffy kitty cat with itty bitty whittle beans for toast. No. Oh, look at him purring. Mr. Beanzo is so happy Jesus. to have started his dominance over 485,000 followers. Aren't you so happy, Mr. Beanzo? I am happy. <laughs> I am pleased that we have provided adequate care for Mr. Beanzo. Providing care for small, medium, organic life forms is one of my favorite primary directives. Milo, do you think that all cats are skilled at social media because of their instinct and need for dominance over a horde of worshipping followers? The Binzo followers are making t-shirts that say Bezo demands our subservice. So I think, so yes, I think instinctive need for dominance sounds about right. I'm also pleased that Captain provided such an accurate cat care advice. Previously, I did not know that social media followers are necessary to keep a cat alive. Yes, it seems obvious now. Everyone acquires social media followers, then we we perish to irrelevant without them. That's face with and deaths, trust me. <laughs> I returned from my convention! I ate several naughty children and even a naughty toddler! That's been a big oh day. Wow! Why look at Mr. Beanzo! He looks as happy as when I let him nap inside my oven! I suppose I should say good job to you filthy children! Now give Mr. Beanzo back! Oh, Aww, look at his face. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Beanzo. I'll always remember our time together, because I have a bug-free memory storage system and several backups. No. <laughs> oh. The three of you wave goodbye to Mr. Beanzo and then immediately monetize his Instagram following. You Take all your influencer cash and buy plus two smarts and plus one fun. Hell yeah. He did say ooh. -woo. <laughs> he said ooh. -woo. Hmm. It's been so long my mouse is like not what? in the 